In this video, I would like to show you how to use the LMBF time frame sync indicator. Now this is going to be used so that I can have multiple charts open for different symbols but on the same time frame. And this can be useful to identify correlation between different currency pairs or different asset types. So in this particular example, I'm going to open numerous charts for the Australian dollar. So I currently have the Australian dollar Swiss and I'm going to add a few more Australian dollar symbols. So Aussie CAD, Aussie Yen, Aussie Kiwi, let's do six Euro Aussie and let's do the Aussie dollar as well. So six different currencies all involving the Aussie. Now if I just tile the windows, you can see them side by side. Now what I would like is that if I change the time frame in any one of these, then the time frame in each of the others also changes at the same time. To do this, I just need to drag the LMF, LMBF time frame sync onto each of these charts. You can see as I'm doing this, then time frame syncing appears just to show you where you've loaded the indicator. The last one. Okay, so now you have six, six different currency pairs with Aussie all open and all on the H4 time frame. Now you change the time frame on any one of these, say the middle one here, to daily, they all changed instantaneously. We'll go to the lower time frame to 15 minute. Again, they all change. Now one thing you might want to do is find out what the price action is doing at a specific point in time across all of these charts. You press the X key on one chart, you will get a vertical line which synchronizes across all these charts. So for instance, you can look at this high point here on the Aussie Swiss, and you can see exactly what's going on with the Aussie in all the other currency pairs. And this can be useful to help you, if you, for example, know that the Australian dollar is very strong, work out which other currency you should be trading against to get the best trading opportunity. Get rid of this timeline just by pressing the X key again. That's all I want to show you. I hope that's clear. Thank you for watching.